Hi, this is William, and today we're going to talk about the Firebug Debug tool, and this is part one of the video. So I found a nice free tool called Firebug, which integrates with Firefox for web development. You can edit, debug, and monitor CSS, HTML, and JavaScript live in any web page. Firebug tries to stay out of your way until you need it. It goes away if you switch to another Firefox tab. Firebug can be optimized for HTML authors, CSS designers, JavaScript developers, and site engineers. After you install Firebug, you'll see a gray Firebug in the Firefox navigation toolbar along the top of the window, and then click on the bug to start. Firebug will open in the bottom of your web page. So HTML, CSS, and DOM. As soon as you open Firebug, you can examine the web page markup, styling, and object model. These tabs, HTML, CSS, and DOM are activated as soon as you open Firebug. If you're an HTML author or CSS designer, this may be all of the Firebug you need. As long as you don't enable other panels, overhead caused by using Firebug should be small. By default, Firebug keeps all the system intensive features off. And in the picture, you can see that we've enabled HTML. And then JavaScript. To work on JavaScript code or to study the network action on a site, you need to enable one or more Firebug panels. If you select the console script or net panels, you will see the tab is gray and the panel says disabled. Each panel tab has a small menu control for enabling the panel. All the panels can be enabled or disabled using the context menu. Just right click on the Firebug status bar icon. In the picture here you can see that the script is enabled in this case. An active listener. Once you enable one of the active listener panels, Firebug will cause some overhead. Look at Firebug's Firefox toolbar, you see that the Firebug icon is now orange, meaning on. And as you change the tabs, Firebug will spin if you've not opened Firebug on that page. And in this picture, you can see that the Firebug is console is on, the script is on, the net is off. And there's three total Firebugs in the browser. Then the Firebug UI, to bring down the Firebug UI, you can either push the Firebug toolbar icon a second time or use a minimize button next to the search box to down arrow. To close Firebug on a page, use the red X. And that concludes the presentation on Firebug Debug Tool Part 1. And this is William. I'll see you the next time. In the meantime, take a look at my blog site, wbweeksjr.com.